Well, the inferno at the ITC chemical plant in Deer Park burned for days back in March. Multiple tanks engulfed in flames, sending thick black smoke into neighborhoods and toxins into the water. Most local fire departments in our area did not get the kind of training needed to fight these kinds of fires without specialized help. But that is changing things to efforts from private companies. Channel 2's own Conflenny shows us one training course helping firefighters learn the skills they need to keep their community safe. We are still waiting on the uh, chemical plant to give us some better information. It is a nasty chemical, but that is all we know. Whether it's a raging inferno engulfing a major tank farm, or just one tank on fire in a field, Petrochemical tank fires are something most municipal and volunteer firefighters are not trained to battle. This is something that they don't usually touch in a fire academy. We've seen different emergencies in the industry and wanted to provide a little more education. Many times you guys will be the first responders. Philip 66 is picking up the tab to train members of the Harris County Firefighters Association. There's many facilities out there that don't have internal fire departments. They're getting the training at the Texas A&M Engineering Extension Service in College Station. It's one of the few places with a special area just for tank fires. Here in a minute, we're going to light the seal. Here, firefighters get familiar with what tanks look like inside and out and how two types of tank fires burn. Rim fires happen when flames erupt between the edge of a tank and its floating lid. The flames burn really hot, but in this case, not very high. But just look at how that same tank shoots towering flames and thick black smoke into the sky when its entire surface erupts. It takes an enormous amount of water. If it's dry, it puts water on it. Otherwise, that foam will not seal against that hot steel. Foam is what works best in a petrochemical fire. These firefighters are learning how to flood it across a tank. Wind's going to push it across. It'll eventually go across the entire surface. There's probably a good 18 inches foam blanket across the whole surface of that tank. This is invaluable training. Um, there's agencies uh, that I've interacted with who don't really see the benefit to coming up here and dealing with things like this because they go, well, I don't have a big refinery in my territory or I don't have you know, a big plant or whatever. But it's likely they do have these smaller oil storage tanks in fields with pump jacks, the most common causes of these fires. The majority of the time, it, it is a, a weather event. And the first firefighters to roll up on the scene will likely be from a municipal or a volunteer fire department. And thanks to this training and more happening next month, these firefighters will be armed with the tools and techniques needed to quickly put it out. And at clicktohouston.com, you can see both of these training fires start to finish. Owen Conflenty, KPRC Channel 2 News.